when modern wastewater treatment plants were developed in the United States, we hadn't yet realized the devastating side effects of the man-made chemicals developed by major companies like DuPont and 3M, including 3,000 types of per- and polyfluorocule compounds known as PFAS. In the 1940s, we began mass-producing these chemicals for waterproofing all of our products, such as cookware, packaging, paint, and clothing, and even firefighting foam used across the country. Today, these dangerous compounds are known as forever chemicals because they accumulate and do not biodegrade in the environment. Despite halting production of a few of the most deadly PFAS compounds from factories in the U.S., most of these forever chemicals have made their way around the world and are still being produced, and the newer versions of these compounds, including Gen X and 1,4-Dioxane, a human carcinogen, are still being used regularly. Over the years, forever chemicals have accumulated in our bodies, our livestock, and in our entire ecosystem. In fact, PFAS chemicals have been found in polar bears in the Arctic and also on the second base camp of Mount Everest, partially because of the collection of PFAS in the water that is rejected from treatment plants and sent down our streams and into our oceans. Health issues from PFAS in the body include infertility, immune system damage, thyroid and liver complications, obesity and high blood pressure, kidney and testicular cancer, higher risk of COVID infection, lower vaccine efficacy, and much, much more. The EPA has begun regulating testing for PFAS in water treatment plants and cities are working to add specialized filters to remove PFAS from drinking water. But we now have a much larger problem. Now that water treatment plants are filtering PFAS out of drinking water, what is rejected from the filter is a concentrated sludge or brine of PFAS and other dangerous forever chemicals. This brine is often sent to the ocean where it spreads around the world or sent to a landfill where over time it leaches out and is sent back to the wastewater treatment plant to reinfect the water. And even worse, a significant amount of this PFAS concentrated sludge is actually dried and taken to nearby pastures where our livestock, plants, and water tables are infected with these forever chemicals at an even higher level. Over time, this results in hazardous chemicals returning back to the human body as we consume vegetables, drink milk, eat meat, and come in contact with unfiltered water. Until now, there was no process for removing PFAS effectively from the wastewater treatment plant and stopping the endless cycle of toxic chemicals in our water system. But all that's changing because at Encore Earth, we have the solution. Encore Earth is a sustainability organization dedicated to removing hazardous chemicals from our environment and returning balance to the planet. Today, we are working to rid the world of these devastating forever chemicals. Our team of engineers, chemists, energy experts, and community organizers work with wastewater treatment plants, the EPA, and Superfund sites to customize solutions based on the needs of the community and the chemicals found in the water. With our activated mineral compounds, we capture and isolate forever chemicals like PFAS and 1,4-Dioxane and ensure that all rejected sludge and biosolids are removed, dried, and eliminated forever in our energy-efficient, carbon-negative, and environmentally friendly process. We even return clean fuels to local power plants and use the heat that is created to destroy chemicals to power our own system. Our solution is simple, customizable, and it doesn't require significant upfront funding or massive engineering efforts, and it can happen in a matter of months. By working with Encore Earth, cities and states can finally rid communities of dangerous PFAS chemicals and become a shining standard for the future of human health. Together, we can work with nature rather than fighting against it. And bring balance to our beautiful Earth.